this is Alex from WP Zoom, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create multiple portfolios using the Inspiro theme. You're going to need to make sure you've got the latest version of Inspiro, and you can download that from WPZoom.com, um, or you can do um, an automatic upgrade once you've entered your license key on the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to assume you've got a bit of content, um, and in my case, I've got um, some photo and some video content. You can see um, I've got one of the regular templates set up um, on the site already. So um, this is going to let me create multiple different portfolios for perhaps different types of work. In my case, it's going to be photo and video. First, I want to show you how I've set up my portfolio. So under the portfolio section, I've got all of this content. Um, and if I then click on portfolios, um, just click on that, you're going to see I've got this organized. Um, if I just delete this nature one, you're going to see I've got it organized into uh, photography and videos. And I've got sub categories um, as the portfolios within those uh, two main categories. So when I'm creating a um, new portfolio category, um, it's just a case of um, entering the name, um, a slug if if required, if I wanted that to be different, um, that could be videos, engagement, or whatever. Um, and then you just want to select the parent category. So um, in both instances, I've created a blank category photo and video. Um, and now if I want to add engagement video to the video category, it's just a case of doing that. And you can see that's added in there. I can also edit any existing categories. If I just click on there, you see I can access um, the parent category setting. So if I then go back, you'll see that's moved to engagement video. I'm just going to get rid of that so it doesn't clutter up our site. So I'm now ready to um, create my multiple portfolios, one for photos, one for video. I'm going to go to Pages, Add New, and we're going to create a new page. Um, and we're going to call it Video Portfolio. This is the new WordPress editor. Um, and in order to access these settings, we're going to need to click this gear icon. We then want to open the page attributes and select um, one of these portfolio um, page templates. I'm then going to publish that immediately. Um, and it's a quirk with the new editor that you're going to need to refresh that page once that's published in order to access the extra settings. Indeed, if you also can't access the page attributes, then just refresh the page um, and you'll be able to get to those. I now have a portfolio options. Um, and here I can choose the portfolio category to show. Here I just need to select um, the relevant pairing category, so video or photography or whatever that is for you. Um, press update. And that's going to be done immediately. You can now see I've got my video portfolio here. Um, and I can sort by any of the subcategories um, that uh, show that. And you can see I've got a couple of um, bits of content in each of those. And so that's all there is to it. Um, and it's just the same instance for um, creating a second portfolio, or indeed as many as you like. So I'll go back to pages, um, just press add new. Um, and that's now create our photo portfolio. Again, we're going to go to page attributes, set the um, template as portfolio, publish that. Now let's refresh this page. And we're going to see the options available at the bottom of the page. This time I'm just going to select photography. Again, update that, view the page. And here we see um, my uh, photography portfolio. So we can sort by any, any of those subcategories again. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Um, let's just head back to um, edit that page. I just want to show you, you can choose between the multiple um, page templates. So I've got uh, just the regular one, but you've got uh, five to choose from there. Um, and if you, you know, we can select the infinite scroll. Um, oopsie. Let's just update that, have a look. And you'll see that just adds that with um, out needing to leave that page. It's a very nice way of doing it. You could choose between all of those. Um, and then you might want to add these across your top menu, for example. So we'd head back to the WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance Menus, and then you'd be able to um, add in your photo and video portfolio, um, perhaps to this top menu. So um, I actually set this as the footer menu, um, but let's just change that around. Um, you can obviously call your menu whatever you like, 
And then we're gonna say I've got my photo portfolio and my video portfolio across the top of the page. Um, and that's a really nice complement to the Inspiro theme. So that's all there is to it. If you have any queries, you can contact our support team. Just head to wpzoom.com um, in order to find the support details. Um, I hope that's really helpful for you. Again, you'll need the newest version of Inspire, and that's how to create multiple portfolios. Thanks very much for watching.